think we're going to do a, a, what, a rib rub. We're going to do some ribs up. Is that what we're going to do? Barbecue dry ribs. All right, barbecue dry ribs. What we have here is a St. Louis style ribs. And what's the difference with the St. Louis dry ribs versus? They're cheaper. They're cheaper? Okay. Well, my, cents your uncle also mentioned that it doesn't come the with the brisket. Oh, is that correct? That, that is correct. All right. Um, for baby backs normally, this little silver skin on the back we would peel this off and take pie. So we're peeling the silver skin off the back. We're not going to do that with St. Louis. Only okay. Baby back ribs. Baby back should pull that off. All right. So if you drive it, we start off with a lot of ingredients. We're going to start with salt. Salt. I like to mix white pepper and black pepper. I love white pepper. Paprika. Chili powder. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Cumin. 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 Really? I love cumin. It gets that little kind of southwestern. I don't think I've ever had it on ribs like that. Okay. Brown, brown sugar. sugar. Light brown sugar. And regular granulated sugar. Brown sugar can give the sweetness. And the regular sugar too. Yeah. It helps kind of darken a little bit. Darken a little bit. Right on. And we're just going to mix that well. Now the dry rub versus a marinade. And it just it, it cooks in it just cooks into the meat and gets a nice coat on the outside. If you actually taste this, just bite your finger a little. It tastes like barbecue sauce, kind of. It's like a sweet, salty. That uh, really does, man. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just not it's not saucy. Yeah. So we already got All right. Barbecue. Make it like barbecue. You want to? You don't even want to be shy about it. I mean. That whole mix we made there is going on just these two little just, uh, just that. Yeah. Just like that. Put it in there. Wrap the plastic wrap in the refrigerator for 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 hour rub? 24 hour rub. We have to show some love. Use a little bit of uh, Morgan Ridge Syrah for a little added extra moisture. And why the Syrah on here? Oh, it's just got a nice little, anything else. Got a nice little peppery. Nice little peppery uh, bite to it. Okay, I think all right. Well. So the pepper part of the Syrah is why you're doing it. Okay. A little water in the bottom. A little bit of Come water. Steam with that Syrah. We'll take some uh, heavy duty tin foil. You can buy tin foil. Lots of good stuff. And so wrap it tight, a little moisture. We create steam. And we're going to cook this for about three hours. Steam three to kind of uh, moisten it up. Did you cook it for how many? Three? About three, three and a half hours. What temperature? 325 to 350. 325, 350, three hours. Yep. All right. Three hours later, we're going to pull this out and see what it looks like. Back 24 hours. 24 hours in this thing. No, I'm kidding. Three hours in here. <laughs> 24 hours marinated. Three hours in this Three hours. What we got. Look at that stain. Smell it. So make it tender. The trick you're looking for on ribs. You want to be able to take this bone and spin it. Spin, spin the spin bone. It. That's when you know. That's when you know it's done right. Well, in this case, we're not done yet. We're going to take it to the smoke. Oh, so we're going more. Yeah, more tender. We're going to blunt the smoke. I right know. I'm not real sure you understand this, but we have goats here. So we're gonna feed the goats as well. Get over here to smoke. Look at them running up. Look at, you know what's going on. Ah. <laughs> Look at those guys. Now, how many places do you get to go cook beside goats? They, they, they know what the orange bowl means. That's right. Kept All right, so what we got high. going on? We got a smoker? Yep. Uh, basically what we did is, um, got my logs down here. We split some hickory. Okay. And, uh, soak them in a little water, to so they don't catch on fire and burn. And uh, we wrapped them in tin foil. We got them sitting on charcoals over here. So that's going to give it the hickory taste. Mm -hmm. This is complicated. Look at that. Oh yeah. So we're gonna take the same rib that just came out the oven. I'm gonna put them on this smoker for about three or four hours. Three or four more. And this, none of this is going to dry this out. Well, I go three to four hours because it gets that smoky flavor in there. Plus, it gives me a little time to drink wine and enjoy the meat. <laughs> feed the goats. And feed the goats. How about, I want, 
Let me see you feed the goat. Look at these guys. Well, guys there's are a little, huge. There's a little trick to it. They get greedy. You got to cycle them out. There you got to go over here. There they go. <laughs> it's my trash compactor. We're green around here. Onion. That one just took the onion out. Look at that, man. They are happy. They are happy and big and thick. I, I mean, dude, I, I just, this is the first time I've actually come out here and seen these goats to be this big. Jeez. All right, guys, so we're ready to pull these things off of here and see what they're like, man. Oh, well, that smoke right there. Yeah, you know, and, and it's crazy to me, you wrap this up in this, in the, in the tin foil, so it's just not too much. Yeah. Because I've smoked things before, and the hickory was just so much, it was it just wasn't good. You had a nice color on that. Yeah. Thing. Oh, God. Look how tender that is. It falls right off. You gonna taste them here? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Look and it's there. not that hot, because it's an indirect heat. We're basically just smoking. Damn, that's good, man. Good job. Thank you, man.